hello everybody today i am going to show you something uh, this is regarding the ftp uh, sampler i have uh, designed a ftp sampler here now what happens is many times uh, you face an issue uh, which i will show you now i will i will uh, execute this ftp script first i will show you what is there in this ftp script so i have just created a simple test plan uh, it contains a single thread group with one user one the ramp up period is one the loop count is one and uh, i have made as continue for the action to be taken after a sampler error now if you look into the ftp request i have put uh, i am going to use a site called swf uh, wmd and this is a free site i will show that site in a moment so these are the credentials the username is anonymous this is a freely available site so they have provided a common username here and the password is any valid uh, email address that you can put over here so i have put one listener view results tree and view results table so currently there are no uh, entries in this since i have cleaned up the entries these are the ftp request defaults in which i have specified the remote file to be put and the local file local file is a readme file which is in my bin folder and i will show you the uh, just this is my site so here if instead of www if you put ftp this is the site i select the first one or rather the second one this is where we will be putting our uh, readme file which we saw earlier so this is the one where we have access everybody has access to this folder so that's the reason it they have mentioned it as incoming so now let's see what happens we have this fresh new file readme 1234.txt that does not exist on the server readme.txt is on our bin folder which you can see here there that is the one. so let's go ahead and run this one i put my cursor on view results tree and then i run it there you go. it fails so this request has failed let's see what's in the sampler result it says java.net.socket exception connection reset so this is a common issue that can happen to every anyone uh, and i will show you what the solution is so for resolving this issue you go to the batch file of jmeter so this this is a batch file first you open notepad or any other editor that you might be having so just drag and drop this jmeter batch file on this notepad and the file opens up so here you can see just go to the bottom and here i have already put the entries but just that i have commented those entries in order to show you what happens so first entry is where i have set this ipv4 
this is a configuration that needs to be done for uh, enabling FTP from your machine. So I remove the rem. Rem is nothing but your comment. And here also I have put a rem over here. This is the argument that you need to pass. So that's it. You need to have one space between the arguments. So now I will go ahead and save this file. That's all. Now I will restart my machine, uh, not my machine, J meter, so that the changes will take place. So I have closed it down. Now let me open J meter again. It's opening up. It has opened up. Now we'll go ahead and open the FTP uh, script that we have created. So we don't need to do any changes here since everything is all set. We have everything in place. We just go here, put our uh, enable, uh, put our cursor on view results tree, select it basically, and now we do a run. So now let's see what happens. There you go. See, it passed this time. So uh, that is what. We have to do when we face the connection reset problem for uh, the connector one and uh, that is a socket error that happens when you don't have those two entries in your J meter batch file. Let's see whether the file has been transferred to the server or not because we used a put over here. So we will see. Did you notice the readme dot uh, readme one two three four dot txt has been transferred at 2211 this is 6 7.4 kilobytes and if you notice here then it is also 7 it should be 7.4 kilobytes Let's open it and see what we have. So the entire file is there. So that this is how you do. Uh, you resolve the issue with FTP. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. And do subscribe to my channel if you like this video.